Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Netflix. Got another video for you guys today. Hope you guys are all doing well. We got this MacBook that's doing unwell, and this is the A2485. This is the 16 inch uh, 2021 MacBook Pro, and it's in here for repair. The customer said there was uh, some type of liquid damage in it. If you guys didn't already know, we are located right outside of Washington, D.C., in Northern Virginia, and we take on MacBooks with liquid damage, MacBooks for data recovery, MacBooks not charging, MacBooks not powering on, you name it. MacBook, we do it. You can check out all the links in the description below for how you can send in your MacBook. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Lift it up, we pull out the board. We'll take a look under the microscope because you guys want to see it, right? <laughs> so let's do that. This is, this is your lid angle sensor, this is your connection. So you can see there's a little bit of corrosion. Um, the good thing is we can see shine. The shine means it's not burnt completely, or at least it's everything's intact. So that's not bad, not too bad. We can deal with that. We see a little bit of um, impact to the NAND area. Now the good thing is about this area, it's covered with this black coating that goes around there. Um, and that's to help out with something like this with liquid spills. So most likely the liquid didn't get in because of that, because this would be really bad. So. Um, if this happened here, you can have a short to the NAND. A NAND is storage, that's where the data is, and there, these are multiple chips, they're all connected to each other in a different way. You can't just remove it and then hope you get the data. That's not how it works. But this did its job. So the black coating did protect the liquid spill there. And when we flip it, we are, have our CD32 um, chip here, which is your USB-C circuit chip. And you'll notice there'll be a bunch that go down this lane, and it looks like a few of, of the areas close are a little bit corroded. And these are for each port that you have, so each USB-C port. Um, MagSafe is considered USB-C. You have one for each. So we have three on this side because there's three ports on this side. And let's see, the, let's see how bad the impact is because it got pretty close to there, which isn't fun if it got pretty close to there. And we also see a cap looks to be totally shredded. Let's see, the power areas look good. Okay, we got a little bit down here. Okay, not too bad. I don't see any components really hit, just areas. Okay, so I can do just an easy, nice little scrub scrub down there. Looks fine. I'll get scrub scrub here. And then um, I think we'll worry about the C32 and then the LAS. So this looks to be okay. Yeah, see that's not too bad. I'm just kind of clean this. We could be a little aggressive because the black coating's there and it looks fine. Yeah, this looks pretty good. See, nothing's really impacted here. We're looking for solder connections that are impacted, right? Because the solder is what weakens when you have corrosion. First, I'm going to clean a little bit. Here, which a little bit of alcohol isn't too bad to get it underneath. I just don't want any liquid really to get underneath there. I don't like that cap in the corner um, being the way it is. So I'll probably replace it. It looks pretty bad. So we would definitely need to do a replacement there. Okay, so it looks clean, it looks good. Still gonna replace that little cap. And let's look underneath one more time, because I don't want to do much with this area, unless I have to. It does not look bad. I can see all of the, uh, the balls underneath there, it looks fine. So we will leave it alone. Okay, yeah, let's replace this. It's nasty, it needs to go. One good thing, the pads are good, so that's good. Okay. Okay, so it's all cleaned up there. Uh, everything looks to be good. So if we take a look at the LAS cable, um, you can see it's a bit corroded here on the connection side. This side is uh, pretty corroded as well. And um, the thing is there is a firmer on this. So we're just gonna go ahead, replace it, and then we need to reconfigure uh, something there. So our board looks to be pretty good. Um, we did a replacement for the cap in the corner there. And then we also just did a little scrub-a-dub-dub on some other areas that just had some surface damage and um, everything looks to be pretty good, at least board-wise. Now we do have the LAS, which is that lid angle sensor, which I have over here. 
and uh, because of how damaged it is, um, we're just gonna go ahead and replace it. But the LAS isn't connected, and that's the one that's over here in the corner. Now we're back. So uh, this should turn on, at least plug in, and give a display, right? So let's see if we get our 20 volts. So we are getting our 20 volts here, and um, sometimes the fans don't spin because they don't want to. And we are getting a charge symbol icon, which is good. So it is powering on. Um, the battery is connected, right? Yes, okay, the battery is connected, and we're getting, um, since this is an M1, we're gonna get 20 volts and about three amps. So, so that looks very healthy, right? So it, it looks like the battery is charging. Okay, so we got a little enough juice there and it is powering on, which is good. And we see a display, which is also even better. I wanna show you guys something that's interesting about this. So it does go to an OS, which is cool, but there is a problem now because we don't have the LAS sensor uh, plugged in. And if you look, hey man, look, it's April Fool's. <laughs> but it's not actually, either. it's just, I don't know, it defaulted that, but that's kind of funny. When you open and close it, it will not uh, go to sleep. And that is because this cable in the corner is not active, right? And this is your LAS sensor, which is your lid angle sensor. Now you can't just replace it and plug it in. It just won't work. We need to have a blank slate one and we need to program it. So I have to have a calibrated tool and I have one of these here. It's a really nice one. Um, and it's gonna go ahead and calibrate uh, the sensor because all these lid angle sensors, they're, um, they're calibrated, right? At least uh, the original one. And they're factory calibrated to a point where Apple uh, does them for each display. And when they're factory calibrated, you actually cannot um, calibrate them again. Once it's calibrated, that's it. You can't use it again. So you need to get one that's not programmed. We'll plug this in here. You wanna be gentle, it's very easy to tear a cable. We need to give this a power source, right? Because it has something. So we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna see our light come up there. We have a blinking light and that blinking light is showing that this is not uh, calibrated yet. It says LED lid uh, open and that thinks that it's open right now because it's not properly calibrated. So I wanna calibrate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch um, that switch and it's gonna go ahead and you'll see lid LED or just LED one is blinking. And after it's done blinking, um, that should show that it's gonna calibrate properly, right? And then the lid right here will go off, which it did. And now it stopped blinking, and now the LED uh, two is blinking. What we can test right now, we can slightly open this, and you will see our lid uh, open should uh, turn back on because then it will be uh, calibrated that way. So I'm going to slightly lift the whole thing, and as a hell man, it's a heavy one. So if I slightly lift it, you can see this light will come on, right? And now if I slightly close it, the light will go off because then it'll think it's closed. Now we have a properly calibrated uh, sensor. Um, but we now we need to save our work, save our progress. So we have to hit uh, my Switch 2 here, which is the Nintendo Switch 2. It actually, <laughs> it's actually a Switch 2. And it's gonna blinking and then it should totally go off. Once it's, go, once it's off, now it's completely calibrated. And now I have a working uh, lid angle sensor. I'm gonna go ahead, disconnect the power. Disconnect this here. And then I'm gonna also uh, connect it back. Oh man, you guys, we didn't clean it. Oh man, I totally got distracted, I didn't clean the, uh, <laughs> I didn't clean the connection. Okay, so yeah, it looks good. You can see all the pins perfectly fine. Don't see it be a problem. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and check to make sure the LAS is working fine, uh, which it should be, because we should get a power on and we shouldn't have any issues, right? We should be able to close it now so we can see the dog. And now, we can't see the dog. So it slept fine, now we can see the dog. And it's not April Fool's, it still is April Fool's, so, you know. Okay, we close it, turn it on, turn it off. Looks to be fine, looks to be okay. So we, now we have a working lid angle sensor, we have power on, mouse movement, which you do. So we have a trackpad. And I'm also gonna go ahead and try the keyboard, which the keyboard's working, because that was another thing. Uh, shorts can cause that to happen. So um, if you have a problem, especially along the LAS or something else, you can have a problem with the keyboard, trackpad, and oh, both not working there especially a backlight or something. So it looks to be working, looks to be good. So the repair is done. I hope you guys are gonna watch this video on doing the repair on the A2485 16 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. If you guys are interested in doing a repair, we have a store in Alexandria, Northern Virginia, right next to our nation's capital, Washington, DC. If you guys are interested, come on by. Otherwise, uh, we do have a mail-in option for you guys to send in your device for us to fix any uh, issues with any type of MacBooks, the M1 Pros, the M1 MacBooks, 
M2 MacBooks, M3s, M4s, MacBook not charging, MacBook for data recovery. We're here to help. Uh, check out the links in the description below if you're interested in doing a mail-in service with us. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, please do like, really just help us a lot. Subscribe for more content and see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.